during the Revolutionary War as General George Washington was trying to mount a campaign to challenge the British Army. Many at first flocked to his banners. It was exciting to go to war, see the uniforms and military parade, to face what they felt was an oppressive and conceited opponent. It was the chance to whittle them down to size, show them what Americans were made of, to show your ability and courage, and your skill with a rifle, as most were incredibly good shots. Most Americans had never seen combat. Most had no idea what war was really like. They had heard tales of past wars and of heroes. Many Americans believed they would take the Redcoats apart, sending them packing. But as they faced the first major campaign on Long Island, New York, and were handily defeated, then beaten again on Manhattan Island, and chased up to White Plains, New York, and beyond. As their forts fell, and so did their comrades, and they were pushed back, and pushed back again and again, they began to understand the reality of what war really was. And as they witnessed the unpleasantness and misery of the dead and dying going on all around them, many deserted and went home. Then others, as their short enlistments ended, would not re-enlist, and they too left. Soon a force of 17 to 19,000 men dwindled down to less than 3,000. Those who were left felt abandoned by the majority of America. Even of the remaining force, many were still under enlistment, or they too would be gone. The future of America hung on a single campaign. During that dark time, if Washington could not prove they could win against the British, the cause would most likely be lost. This was the condition of our rebel army as they faced the Battle of Trenton, hoping at last for a victory. This song called Don't Run Away was written to capture the desperation and concern of the common American soldier, hoping they would not be suddenly left standing alone on the field of battle as the deserters would run away, or having to watch their American brethren pick up and flee on the eve of battle, leaving those who stayed to their fate. Many had lost brothers, sons, daughters, even sometimes children in the conflict, some families paid the ultimate sacrifice, where father and sons both never came home. Many came back without arms or legs, feet or hands. Thomas Paine, the famous revolutionary author, had written, The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot had fled. Those who would stand it now were the men who would be the true heroes of the glorious cause, and that freedom was such a celestial gift, it would only be purchased with great commitment and sacrifice. This is the story of one young man who was the last of his brothers left alive who had gone to war. He hoped to return to his family, but he did not know if he would. Yet he could not leave, because he was one of the few who could not run away and abandon the cause. Don't run away.
father's last son, so don't run away from me. Run away, run away. You just can't run away. Come along, they told us I'll come. We'll send them home and we'll watch them all run. Putting holes in the red coats, come. Gonna drive them to the sea. Hoist the sail, draw the anchor chain. Leave our country just the way you came. Wash our land in a cleansing rain. We're gonna break away, you'll see. Run away, don't run away. We just can't run away. Run away, don't run away. We just can't run away. Run away, don't run away. We just can't run away. My mother's lost her son, so don't run away from me. Raising glasses, drinking their rum Take our freedom and you're taking our guns Burn our cities, take the life of our sons Trying to make a slave of me Clothes are tattered, shoes are gone Wrap my feet in the old homespun Bow the knee to the Holy One Don't run away from me Run away, don't run away We just can't run away Run away, don't run away We just can't run away Run away, don't run away We just can't run away I am my father's last son So don't run away from me